Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Washington, D.C. Welcome back to those who are here this afternoon. This is the official press conference for Davis versus Garcia on Showtime pay-per-view. I'm Brian Custer. I'm the host of Showtime Championship Boxing. Saturday, January 7th, Showtime pay-per-view. Gervonta Davis back here in his hometown area of the DMV. Six years, six years ago was the last time we did a fight here. This is the city, Gervonta may remember, where Tank began his professional career. February 2013, when he became a pro, right here in the nation's capital. Well, on Saturday, January 7th, Tank, We'll take on Hector Garcia at the Capital One Arena. In fact, that venue, the first boxing show there held was televised by Showtime Championship Boxing back in 1999. Last time we saw Gervonta Davis in the ring, last May. That's when the sports, one of the sports pound for pound best Stopped his nemesis, Roly Romero, with just one punch. But on Saturday, he's got his hands full. He's taken on the Ring Magazine's number two fighter at 130 pounds. He is the newly crowned WBA junior lightweight champion. He's unbeaten, just like Gervonta, Hector Garcia. Garcia had that breakthrough performance on Showtime Championship Boxing in February when he beat Chris Colbert, did it on short notice, by the way. Dropped him in that fight. And then, in August, he took away Roger Gutierrez's world title in a dominating performance. This event is being brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions. It's being promoted by GTD Promotions, TGB Promotions, also in association with D&D &D Boxing. Tickets for this, they're limited. If you want to get them, you better get them now. Get them fast. You can get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com. You can also get them at CapitalOneArena.com as well. This event and this pay-per-view fight features one of the sports pound-for-pound -pound best against the sport's hottest fighter right now, and it should be one heck of a fight. Let me bring up a man who helped make it happen. He's the president, GM of Showtime Sports, Steven Espinoza. Thank you, Brian. Gervonta Tank Davis versus Hector Luis Garcia. It's the first big boxing event of 2023, the first of many high stakes, high quality matchups that we're working on in Showtime. You know, Tank is assuming a huge risk fight, facing a dangerous fighter like Hector Luis Garcia. Garcia is one of the hottest fighters in boxing, strong candidate for 2022 Fighter of the Year, beat Chris Colbert, highly touted prospect on short notice, then he won his world title by beating Roger Gutierrez. He's a five foot nine, natural southpaw, 16 and 0, 10 KOs, 400 amateur fights, power in both hands. He's a former Olympian from the Dominican Republic. Say what you will, but this is a formidable opponent for anyone, including Tank. All of us at Showtime are thrilled to be back here in the nation's capital. This is the 10th time we've been in DC, and as Brian said, it's the first time we've been here since 2016 at the Armory. And I remember that particular date for several reasons, but uh, it also happened to be the first time that I saw Tank in person. He was on the off TV undercard on an Adrian Broner card at the Armory. And his promoter came up to me and said, you should make sure you get here early to see this young kid I'm working on. And that was Gervonta Davis. So a lot of parallels you know, in this return, not just because Tank is from Baltimore, a short drive up the road. 
Last time Showtime was in the big arena here was Mike Tyson's last fight of his career against Kevin McBride. And at that point, it was not the Capital One Center, it was the MCI Center. This will be the 13th time Tank has appeared on Showtime, the fifth time on a pay-per-view. And by now, we all know what to expect. Every time Tank fights, it is must-see TV. He sold out arenas in LA, Atlanta, Baltimore, and Brooklyn. This past, this last fight in May, the highest grossing and most attended combat sports event in Barclay Center history, nearly 19,000 people. In fact, over his last six fights, he's averaging nearly 15,000 people per, per event. And if you look across boxing, and see the number of fighters who are doing that, you can count them on one hand. So we're in, it, we're, we're in for an exciting, uh, high action, highly contested main event, but as usual, Showtime is delivering fight fans a high quality card top to bottom. We have Jerron Ennis, one of boxing's most dynamic fighters. He's fighting for an interim title, the interim IBF title, fighting to become the mandatory, get his shot at a championship fight. Now, there's lots of stats you can say about Boots, but the one that's most impressive to me, if you take away his no contest against Chris Van Heerden, which was the result of a headbutt, Boots is on a 19-fight KO streak, 19 straight stoppages. In fact, in his last 11 fights, he has 21 knockdowns. So like Tank, when Boots fights, you know what to expect, and it's all action. But that's not it. Also on the card, rising contender Rashidi Ellis, taking on a Showbox alum in Roy Manville. You got Demetrius Andre making his debut in a new division at 168. So rarely have you seen the kinds of names and the kinds of fights that you have all on one card, and that's not it. We can go down further on the card. Lamont Peterson, Anthony Peterson, Brandon Lee, Vito Melnicki, Jalil Hackett. You know, from the established veterans to some of the best young prospects in the sport. It's an exciting night. Make sure you get there early and see all of these great fighters in action. We'll see you then. Thank you, Stephen. Of course, the pay-per-view broadcast begins at 9 p.m. Again, Eastern, that is 6 o'clock Pacific time. Make sure you buy it. Don't want to be late. All right, let's talk to some of the guys, the participants here, taking place in the main event. Uh, first, we would just like for you guys to give us a you know, statement about the fight, what we should expect. Let me start over here. And this man here is the trainer of Hector Luis Garcia. He's probably had the Midas touch. If you look at his year, led Hector to a world title. Alberto Puello as well. I mean, the man has done it all, it seems like, last year and looking to start the new year off with a bang as well. Mr. Bob Santos. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, we're expecting a tremendous, tremendous fight. Uh, you know, I've said it, I'll say it again. I think Gervonta, pound for pound, is one of the best fighters in the sport, one of the most dynamic punchers in the sport. Um, but that said, you know, Hector's ready. We're prepared. We left no stone unturned. We, just like Tank can fight on three levels, we can fight on three levels too. It's going to be an all-time classic. You know, uh, you know, I look back to the fight with, uh, I had Robert Guerrero fighting Andre Berto, and everybody said, uh, Berto's too big of a puncher. You know, he knocked out Freddie Hernandez, that uh, Ayers Landalara that I had went the distance with a junior middleweight. And uh, so we're going to be very prepared for this fight, and I'm expecting a tremendous, tremendous fight, and we're confident we're going to come out victorious January 7th. Thank you, Bob. Let's hear from the trainer of Javante Davis. I've always said with he and Kenny Ellis do at that Upton Center there in Baltimore, it's tremendous work. Uh, Mr. Calvin Ford, if you would, give us a few words. How y'all doing? 
Hey, question, Santos. Do he got that shirt on, fight of the year? Well, we, we're, we're not sure. I don't know. I, I didn't look at him today in the, in, in the bathroom. I don't okay, know. Yeah. I have no idea. He got a jacket on. Okay. Tell him I like that shirt. Well, we, yeah, oh, I, we love it. We love it. We're thankful for it. All right. Oh, man. I can't wait till the seventh get here. It's been a rocky camp, y'all. But guess what? He made for this one. Y'all got the right cat this time. Y'all got the right cat. Y'all been reading it. This ain't no tune up right here. This is a fight. This is what we made for. This is what we do. This is how we get down. Hector, I like your name. You got a fight name. Bring that Hector to the fight that night, yeah? Because guess what? It's on and popping. You know what I'm saying? We understand when we in DC, the only way you go away is through DC. He understands what's going on. That's our playground right here. We couldn't go nowhere unless we came through D.C. Y'all see the card? The card is lit. And we're going to finish it up lit. Man, I can't wait. All this stuff been happening. Y'all been pouring gasoline on my youngin. Guess what? Bucking up your shoes, caboose in the house. Put your seatbelt on, because Javante Tank Davis. It's going to bring that heat that night. Thank you, Calvin. Let's hear from the fighters now. Hector Luis Garcia, unbeaten, 16-0-1, and 10 knockouts, an Olympian, and currently the WBA junior lightweight champion of the world. Hector, if you would, Give the folks some words on how camp was for this, for this fight and what should they expect January 7th when you step in the ring with Javante Davis. Hector, bueno, eh, contanos cómo fue tu campamento de entrenamiento y además lo que crees que la gente debería esperar cuando te vea subir al ring el sábado 7 de enero. Primero, quiero darle gracias a Dios por la oportunidad, Chuntime Boxing, PBC. Mi, mi campamento fue un campamento incansable, gracias a mi equipo de trabajo, eh, todo salió bien, perfecto, como, como estamos listos para, para el próximo 7 de enero. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone involved uh, with this fight. This wouldn't have been uh, possible without you. And my camp, it couldn't have been better. My team is tireless. We worked so hard, and you're going to see the results on Saturday night because they're going to be phenomenal. And now, Javante Davis, three division weight champion, knockout percentage at 93%, one of the highest in boxing, unbeaten as well, 27 and 0. 17 of his last 18 fights have ended in a stoppage. Tank, if you would, talk to the people about this fight on January 7th. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Showtime, you know what I mean, Al Heyman, my personal team. Um, got uh, Mia Edis for definitely getting me through this camp. She trained with me day in, day, in, day out. Um, the undercard, uh, a stack card, I finished the old um, Saturday night the boxing win. You know what I mean? Um, it's a stack card from from the first fight to to my fight. You know what I mean? So I finished though. Um, we trained hard for for in, in training camp. We did a did a lot. A lot been going on. Um, I want to go over a little top. I mean, a little situation that. He said on Facebook, talk about he looked he looked like a lawyer and we looked like inmates or something. He said on uh, Facebook, so it definitely turned turned uh, turned me up. So Saturday night, you definitely don't want to miss this one. This one's gonna be a, a tough, a tough, a tough fight on his end. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make sure that so uh, make sure y'all 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 come early and. Don't get no popcorn, don't get no water, don't get nothing. Make sure y'all, y'all, 
Y'all seat, y'all butt uh, glued to the seat, and eyes on the ring. I promise you, it's gonna be some. It's gonna be fireworks. So, thank y'all for coming out, and um, see y'all Saturday night. All right, let's talk about the fight. Tink, I'll start with you because you talked about, you alluded to this, with everything whirling around you outside of the ring. How were you able to focus on this fight? Uh. This is my job. I've been doing this since I was, you know what I mean, uh, seven. I finished though, uh, it come with it, you know what I mean? Uh, if I stop now and then, I finished though that. I ain't really do what I, I came to do just yet. So I finished though, if I keep pushing, that's just a hump in my road. So um, just like this fight, I finished though, uh, I gotta get through this fight that, that uh, Pass or go to the next one. So, I feel though it just it just humps in the road that we all have in life, and um, um, I'm just human. You know what I mean? So. And what do you think your feelings about fighting back here in the DMV, so close to home, where your career professionally started? It's, I, I would assume you kind of have a little more juice when you're back here. Uh, DC always been a sight man when it, when it comes to uh, boxing. You know, what I mean, I think there's a lot of talent in, in DC that people sleep on. I feel as though uh, DC is a boxing a boxing town and got so much talent. And, and I'm I'm excited to be uh, to come back and and fight in DC. You know, what I mean, like uh, my coach said, um, we used to have to get through DC just to go away. You know, what I mean, so I always. You know what I mean? Um, treated DC like a second home. I remember back in the day it was saying like a, a viral against um, DC and Baltimore, but I never really got that because I had a lot of friends like uh, Pat uh, Ramo. I had a lot of guys that, that I actually like um, used to come to DC and just chill with, you know what I mean? So um, I always felt like DC was um, a second home for me. So um, that's coming back and fighting in DC is it means a lot on a, a professional level. So I'm excited to be back. You know what I mean? I um I seen Lamont Peterson when he beat um a man Khan and I was right there and I actually held his belt after he won, you know what I mean? Um uh, and that was actually the uh IBF belt and I won that my first world title. So um I'm excited to be back in DC, and I'm 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 grateful. And uh, Saturday night, Hector says a lot about you. Taking a challenge, stepping up in weight, taking on a guy who has tremendous power. Tell the people why you took this challenge. Bueno, es algo muy elogiable sobre vos que hayas optado por subir de categoría el aceptar este desafío contra un campeón del calibre y la potencia de Gervonta Davis. Contar un poco a la gente las razones por las cuales aceptaste este desafío y por qué lo hiciste. Bueno, sí, acepté este desafío porque me gustan los grandes retos. Para mí las dos divisiones son iguales la cual me siento bien, me siento en óptimas condiciones, en la 135, y enfrentando a Yerbonta Davis esta vez, eh, eso me, me da más fuerza todavía, más ganas, más deseo de, de superación, de, de ganar mi pelea el próximo 7 de enero. Well, uh, both divisions are basically the same to me. I feel equally comfortable in both, and I took this challenge because I always want to surpass my own limits and go after the very best. So in the end, it's up to me to show what I can do on Saturday night. But when it comes to having to face what I have to face at the way I have to face, I'll be ready no matter what. I think people love watching you fight, Hector, is because obviously you got the punching power uh, and your style. Do you believe your power will be enough to keep Tank off of you on Saturday. 
Eh, tu, tu estilo de pelea ha sido elogiado tanto en el pasado como actualmente. ¿Crees que tu potencia, el poder de tus puños va a ser suficiente para mantener a Gervonta Davis alejado de vos y, y evitar que haya eh, tanto daño físico? Sí, claro. Eh, yo soy un peleador que, que peleo toda la distancia y confío en mi puño. The bottom line for me is that I can fight at whatever distance the fight requires me to, up close, uh, with my reach, using my power, whatever is required. I'm going to be ready. Bob Santos, you were quoted in the boxing scene as saying, you give Hector a full eight-week camp, and folks are going to be surprised of the outcome when it comes to him fighting Tank Davis. Yeah, no doubt about it. Like I said, I got the utmost confidence in Hector. Uh, that's why we took a fight with Chris Cobra with 19 days, right? Everybody told us, oh, you're crazy. I said, I know what I'm looking at in the gym. Everybody talks about, you know, this guy's a killer, this guy is boring. You don't survive in my gym with Carlos Adamas and guys like that. So we've been in there with big guys too, and we will be ready to rock and rumble however it wants to go, inside, outside, back foot, forward, whatever it takes. January 7th, we're going to be victorious in this fight. Mm. Calvin Ford, you said this fight, we putting everybody on notice. What do you mean by that? Everybody. <laughs> everybody going to get it. Todd, he don't never get his props. And he did the same thing as the rest of them. Or more. Y'all hear mm. the last time? It's never enough. I'm sorry, Hector, you have to be the one. I'm sorry, man. Hey, Cal Calvin, don't say he don't ever get his props. I give him his props. I give Tank all the props in the world. Pound no, for pound, he's one of the best fighters in the world. Bro, for coach. me, I give him his props. Pound for pound, he's one of the best in the world, no doubt about it. But everybody else, man, we know it. Well, they don't know what they're looking at then. You know, I mean, Ray Charles can see how talented Tank is. <laughs> so, you know, we know what we're looking at. We know what we're up against. And, and again, pound for pound, he's one of the best fighters in the world. And anybody can't see that, but wow, I Thank don't know you. what they're looking at. Read what we've been reading. <laughs> see what we've been seeing. Everybody can put their hands up saying the kid ain't getting his props like he's supposed to be getting. The best way to show him is to show him. I'm sorry to say it. See you on the seventh, money. Tank, let me come to you. Because you got a Ryan Garcia fight scheduled for April. <laughs> Why in the heck would you take another fight against a guy of this caliber before that supposed to be fight in April? Uh, I feel as though um, he earned his he earned his uh, his spot. You know what I mean? Hector definitely earned his spot off of what he done in a um, few months that, you know what I mean? Um, he been in, a, in a, a fighting, so I feel as though that he beat a, a top prospect. I think he he he, uh, he came back and, you know what I mean, had a great performance and won a belt, so I think he earned his spot, you know what I mean? Uh, I feel as though he's he's not someone to sleep on. I feel as though that he, he's uh, a tough opponent, and, Uh, this will prepare me for, you know what I mean, um, the Ryan fight. So uh, hopefully uh, we don't get too banged up in this fight so we can uh, put it on Ryan. But he definitely ain't looking past this guy. I feel as though he's, he's tough. He's tough. And uh, I just want to go out there and put on a great performance in front of a nice crowd and uh, show him that I'm actually one of the top guys. Yeah, and you said... This fight, too, is all about quieting all the talking from these fighters. You expound on that? What fighters and what they've been saying about you? Uh, just been a lot of talk, you know what I mean? Been a lot of talk from uh, our fighters and whatnot. So just want to put them on notice with this fight, uh, even, even with the Ron fight, you know what I mean? It, I, can't get, I can't get the Ron uh, till I get past Hector, and I want to show that. Um, I'm one of them elite guys, you know what I mean, by the, by the performance I put on Hector, you know what I mean? I love, that, Hector, that you and 
Tank had certainly had a nice little back and forth. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Tank had a picture of you on his punching bag and he was beating it up. <laughs> and you went on social media and had a picture of Tank with the sign that said, free ass whoopings. <laughs> so talk to us about what we should expect on Saturday night then, considering uh, what you put on social media. Bueno, acá a Brian le encanta el ida y vuelta que han tenido entre vos y Gerbonta. Muy divertido en el sentido de que Gerbonta tenía tu cara en una de las bolsas de su gimnasio. Vos le respondiste con una foto propia de Gerbonta en tu bolsa en el que decía eh, eh, te voy a patear el trasero gratis. Entonces, contanos o sea, un poco de todo este ida y vuelta y, y tus sensaciones sobre, sobre lo que ha sido el, el ingrediente picante de esta pelea. Sí, sí. Eh, cada peleador es diferente y hay que respetar la decisión de cada peleador eh, cuando sí eh, todos los fanaticados enviándome cosas de, de esa actuación de Jerry Ponte Davis en su gimnasio eh, ya vi que anteriormente lo había hecho con Rolly y eso es algo normal ¿me entiendes? eso quizás es un entretenimiento para él, una motivación pero lo que eso es, eso es como es, es así mismo es muy emocionante porque me emociono lo disfruto eso me gusta I thoroughly enjoy the back and forth it's something that thrills me and motivates me I think it motivates your banda too and it's it's all like I think it's normal it's in good fun and it brings a different ingredient to to the fight so I didn't take any offense to what he did and I did what I did and I had people sending me memes and stuff like that so it's all part of the fight and I think both he and I were motivated by it let's wrap it up with this Hector do you get a sense that maybe Gervonta is focused on the wrong Garcia and what should he expect Saturday night at the Capital One Arena. ¿Crees que Gervonta está enfocado en el García equivocado? ¿Y qué crees que la gente debería esperar de tu parte y de la pelea en sí el sábado por la noche? Un vaticinio, una predicción que tenga sobre cómo va a terminar la pelea. Bueno, eh, mi predicción es, no, es, no está equivocado, porque el real García soy yo, el verdadero García soy yo. Y por eso estoy aquí ante, ante Gervonta Davis. Y sé que va a ser una pelea muy emocionante porque Gervonta para mí es un gran peleador y yo estaré listo para como él venga, ready. The real Garcia is right here. I'm the real Garcia. I don't care who he's focused on because I know I'm the true challenge. And Saturday night, fans are going to see a thrilling fight. They're not going to want to miss it. And it's going to be a show that everyone will enjoy. Bob? Well, you know, when they're talking about Ryan Garcia, the rea reality of it is, in, in, in this sport, it's what's earned inside the ring. We have here next to me a man who's an Olympian. We have here next to me a man who won a title eliminator. We have here next to me a man who won a world championship. We have here next to me a man who was in, you know, the upset of the year and was victorious. And we have here who's a man by Everybody, Sports Illustrated, Boxers Writers Association, Ring Magazine, a Fighter of the Year candidate. The aforementioned Ryan Garcia has done none of the five. He may end up doing something at some point, but as of today, you earn things inside the ring. That's why I have the utmost respect for Gervonta Davis. When they talk about some of these other champions, and I look to, you know, mutual opponents, Gamboa, I look at a Devin Haney, he went the distance with him. This man stopped him. Pitbull Cruz. Pitbull Cruz, I know very well. Me and Hector know him very well. He said this fight's a 50-50 fight, that there's a reason for it. He's a very, very tough guy. So things are earned inside the ring. And, and, and that's what's going to have to happen uh, January 7th. Tank, I'll give you the final word here. For everybody who's going to buy your fight, pay their good money, come out to the arena, what can you guarantee that they're going to get when you get into the ring with Hector Luis Garcia? Uh, first, I want to say uh, I want to send my prayer and love out to um, one of the Bill players that hurt that so actually playing the sport on the on the field. You know what I mean? Uh, um, Damar Hamlin, uh, wish him a, a speedy recovery. I uh, hope he make it. You know what I mean? Back to his family and friends and guys and you know, be able to play again. Um, 
with his his brothers on the field. So I want to send my uh, my prayers to him and his family. Um, as far as uh, the last word, I want to say to Hector, just be ready. Be ready. Um, I feel as though I, this camp been great. Um, little hiccups, but we got through it. And uh, I know that Hector uh, somewhat ready or coming. Um, just don't make a lot of mistakes, because if you make too many, it might be an early night. There you have it. And it all goes down on Showtime pay-per-view. Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. That is 6 o'clock Pacific time. Again, tickets are limited. You can get them at Ticketmaster.com, CapitalOneArena.com as well. Javante Davis, unbeaten. Hector Luis Garcia, unbeaten. Two world champions collide here in the nation's capital on Saturday. Gentlemen, let's get a face off if we could. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.